Hey fellow agents, this is Agent Smith and we are about to go into the dream sequence for Leisure Suit Larry 5 that leads us into the next part with Patronet Patty. Uh, we're flying to Miami, but she's got her own thing going on. In your dreams, you are watching Passionate Patty perform a rock concert before the reflecting pool of the Taj Mahal. What a great musician. What a romantic setting. What a gorgeous beam. I can't skip this sequence for some reason. My conversation thing is so slow. <laughs> Sometimes I have delays on these things. Ah, huh, and it just transfers over. Interesting. Like, that's what she was doing. Alright, so here we are at the k Rap, I believe, studios. Sign above your head, k Rap's neon sign illuminates the Baltimore night. All right, let's go on in and get this next guy. Although you can't see it, the k Rap building is quite impressive when viewed from the outside, opposite side. From the tiny top floor you just entered, it stretches hundreds of feet down the hillside in a series of cascading terraces, gardens, and patios. Obviously, there's more to this place that meets the eye. This lobby is quite impressive, you think, especially for such a small building. Thor's tasteful brass plate reads, Mr. John Crapper, <laughs> founder, owner, president, and CEO. This is the receptionist desk. Luckily for you, it seems to be absent right now. Feels exactly like a receptionist desk. This door is locked. Hmm. You know sound from the door, that must have not been the correct number. Let me see, what else do we have here? Oh, there we go, there's an access code on the PC Hammer, 45954. I knew there would be something to help us to get in here. Uh, move out of the way so I can get to it. There we go. 45954. You hear the doors lock click. You hear the footsteps. Hurry, Patty. This is the receptionist returning from her break. Phew, he made it. Alright, let's take a look around. You see a glint of metal coming from the humus in the in the pot at the base of the tree. Let's go and check that out. Bending over to the base of the tree, you dig into the humus and find the metallic object that you saw earlier. It looks like a desk key. Get this thing on the desk here. Never knowing when you might have some ma get some mail, you decide to take Crapper's letter opener from the desk. Try in the drawers of the Crapper's desk, you find some securely locked. Let's try using the key. There we go. <clears throat> Trying the key you found buried in the tree pot, you insert, the de uh, ins insert into the desk and turn it carefully. It opens. What we got in here? Peering through John Crapper's personal formerly locked file drawer, you notice a number written on a small blue stickum. Which in the world? Why in the world would he want to remember one eight one three three? Put that down just in case we need it for something. Let's see what else we can find. Before closing the desk drawer, you find some folders marked personal. Hmm, what's in a personal folders? <clears throat> Examine the papers inside the folder carefully. You find one of the some one with some references of gangster activities. It is signed only with a scrawled name. You make out to be Julius. Uh oh. These papers provide cr proof positive of uh, mob payola at K Rap Radio. But how will you get them out there without cr without Crapper finding out? Hmm. Oh, that's right, we got that too. Oh, this is something. 
to Genuine Zero Z 9000, the latest in personal copiers. Yes, yeah, so we could do that. Let's take and copy the files. And place John Crapper's personal papers in his copier and press the start button. Hey, what's the matter with this thing, you think? Why did it stop working? What did I do? Jam it? Oh well, at least you got the most important evidence copy before it jammed. You can grab in your copy from the machine. Why is this switch here? What is this switch here, do you wonder? Pulling on something that doesn't belong to you? An experience not wholly unfamiliar to you. <clears throat> oh, right in my face. Great, you think? Now just look at me. I'm covered with toner from head to toe. Oh, Lord. Let's put this file folder back. Seems a folder of evidence just doesn't work with a desk computer. I meant to put it on a desk. <laughs> Do I look like blackface or something? Is that what the whole point of this is? You return the folder of evidence to Crapper's desk and close and lock his desk drawer, being careful to leave everything exactly as you found it. Really, a razor sharp letter opener doesn't try anything funny like picking locks. Hmm. It sounds like something I need to do. Let me see if that's what we gotta do next. Seems the letter opener just doesn't work with the bathroom door. But what do we need this for? Carefully return the letter opener to this exact location of Crapper's desk and make sure the drawer is securely locked. I'll never even know you touched it. Good idea. I guess I could probably have done either one. Let's put this key back too now that I think about it. The way it doesn't look like we were obviously in here. Carefully return the key to his hiding place in the house. Alright, let's go ahead and see if we can go through this door. Oh, perfect. We cleared ourselves off here. The very obviously something's gonna happen to. Now that's a good idea, Patty. Use Crapper's shower to wash the toner from your hands and face. That way there's no evidence. Mm -hmm. As you turn what appears to be a gold plated faucet, you feel a shower begin to move. Oh crap. <laughs> My clothes are on the outside. Where will you end up with this na in, in, on this naked adventure without your inventory, too? That's not good. Boobs. Your elevator descends through K Rap Atrium, past floor after floor of offices. At least there are no workers here to see you. This is just like a recurring nightmare of yours. Yep, nobody's seeing anything. <laughs> not a single worker in the place. Oh, Patty, you're so embarrassed. <laughs> well, I guess we're putting this outfit on. Checking as much of the downstairs as you can, you make sure that no one is coming. Cautiously leaning out of the shower evader, you grab the set of clothes conveniently hanging on a nearby clothes rack. Perfect. <laughs> now I actually do look like I belong here. I was like a black rap artist. Wow, look at you. It's all new. All oh, what's happening? Rapping Patty P. With that outfit, you're impromptu copy or makeup job. You're all set to blend right in down here. That's extremely racist. <laughs> I hope I haven't offended anybody on this. Alright. Well, now that we're ready to go, I guess. Let's take a look. Inside Studio A, the members of Two Live to Screw are carrying on lively discussion. If only you could hear their conversation. Ooh. Let's see if we can figure out a way. Let's go ahead and check out what's through this door. Uh, the code I had, 18133. 18133. There we go. You hear those sound from the door that must not have been the correct number. Oh, here we go. Okay, this is not what I was looking for. I guess I got the wrong door. Man, it freaked me out for a minute. 
PC Hammer is the man Desmond says is linked to the m to much of the evil doings here at K Rap Radio. It's a good thing your disguise is working out so well. You certainly wouldn't want him to notice you. I guess. Large, heavy microphone stands waits for a gig. Okay. Let's try this door. One of these doors is going to take this code, damn it. Eight, one, three, three. There we go. That's the one. Door clicks. Oh, I think we might be able to check in on what people are doing. Inside the K-Rap Radio is control room B. For such a large room, it certainly looks smaller from the outside. The walls are filled with a myriad of recording equipment, electronics gear, mixers, and microphones, recording tapes, etc., etc. Let's see if we can get into one of these recording studios and record what they're doing, what they're saying. Why, well, here's what you need. A shelf filled with blank reel-to-reel -reel recording tapes. Grab a blank reel from the shelf. Okay. Oh, my mouse is fighting me so hard. Let's go ahead and set this up here and see if we can fiddle with these controls. There we go. You place your tape on the on the recorder, carefully threading it around the tension or arms over the heads and past the cap sand. Uh, finishing by threading the leader onto the tape uh, take up reel with a professional flourish. Because I know how to do all this. Use, it's the use of a recording silence. No signal currently being fed. Okay. And carefully aim the microphone so it's pointing below your mouth. Well, maybe that's not what we're looking for. Console contains many knobs, sliders, and meters, and buttons. Which one will you choose? I don't know, but let's fiddle with it. You bring up the volume controls labeled Control Room C. You hear nothing but a hiss. You bring up the po poten po potentiometer labeled Studio C. You hear nothing but hiss and it's a little air conditioner bleed through. You pull up the slider labeled Control Room B and hear what sounds like a female breathing. Oh wait, that's you, you're in control room B. <clears throat> you raise the volume on Studio B. You hear nothing. You carefully open the slider and control on uh, control room A, as if PC Hammer would hear you doing so. He's recording his live drive time show for tomorrow morning. Who cares? And you fade up on, on the volume in Studio A and listen to that. Why, well, that's too live to screw. Patty, you did it. Now you can overhear their conversation. But how can you get some hard evidence to take back to the Inspector Desmond to prove you really uh, are hearing this? Let's set this to record. You turn on the reel to reel tape recorder. Okay. As you record too live to screw, you giggle with delight as they thoroughly incriminate themselves. <laughs> What's that? What's PC Hammer doing? He looks like he's seen your recording sign, and he doesn't look too happy about it. Ah, oh, crap. Uh-oh, where did Hammer go? Hammer, don't hurt me. Good lord, dude. Oh no, PC Hammer has noticed a recording sign over the window of the control room B, realized that you are not an engineer and heading for your room. Crap, he's got me locked in, don't he? Blocking the only way out of the control room with a heavy microphone stand, he heads for the elevator. You're in trouble now, Patty. Crap. Um. Wait, what's that? By carefully staring across the lobby through the control room window, you notice PC Hammer punching an access code in the keypad of the shower elevator from the angle of his finger and the movement of the hand. You learn the secret access code. Knowing that code, you could escape this area and return upstairs. Now, uh, if you only find a way out of this room. Right, let's stop this recording. You turn off the recorder. 
And rewind. The tape is now fully rewound. Alright, remove the reel, the reel tape. Um see if we can call for help. You hear your voice echo through the room's monitor speakers. The speakers are amazingly loud, loud enough to break glass. Well, let's see if we can mess with these controls. God dang it, I wish this control would stop doing what it does. Thank you. Turn our volume up. You crank up the volume of your control room's monitor speakers to an ear-piercing level. Check your ears, people. Taking your biggest possible diaphragmatic breath, you lean back and belt out your most powerful high C directly into the microphone, through the powerful amplifiers, and out through the control room monitor speakers. There we go. Watch that door. Is it Patty, or is it a Memorex? <laughs> now let's climb on out of here and get the heck out of this place before somebody notices. I'm gonna wash all this black face off of me. I apologize again for that, people. Oh, man. Punching into the access code that you have learned by watching PC Hammer, you are able to ride the shower vader back to John Crapper's bathroom. Uh, luckily, no one noticed your clo clothes lying on the floor there. Putting on your dress and gathering your possessions, you sneak back in the receptionist's lobby door and wait for her to take a break before making your s for the safety of your pro patiently waiting limo. <laughs> Home, Bobby, you signal to your driver, and he nods in ready agreement. All right, and this will probably be another transition thing, so I'm going to go ahead and save this right here. Uh, I named that crap because I thought I busted the whole game. Uh, I hope that you guys have been enjoying this, and if you have, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And uh, actually, let's wait one moment to see if it goes in a dream sequence here, and if so, then I'll blow that up. Drift off to sleep. Yep, okay, cool. So, I'll, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Have yourselves a great day. Hey fellow agents, don't forget to like and subscribe by clicking the button in the center of the screen. You can also find the last video by clicking the button to the left, and you can take a look at some of the other stuff I've done by clicking the button to the right. Hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good day.